This is a uh, first year organic field. Um, so weed control was pretty easy on this one um, compared to the one um, that's been organic since certified since 2020. between 16 and 17% moisture. Um, 
so I need to air dry it down to 15. Uh, that's where grain millers, uh, AgriCore, that's where they want it, is 15 and below. So uh, we'll see if we can get it down a little lower, get it air dried. So we got a new combine this year, moved up to a 2020 S780. So this is a class 8 machine. We're thinking about going to a 12 row head next year. Probably a folding corn head. Make things a little easier going down the road. Um, right now we we take the eight row down the road right now which is 20 feet wide um, a folding 12 row would be I'm gonna guess probably 16 feet something like that maybe so um, be a little bit better run about four eight four nine with an eight row head kind of what I've been doing all season about maybe about five or so um, there's a little more trash coming in the corn head now so slow it down just a little bit try to try not to have so much trash go through the combine it makes the loss monitor so this is sieve loss this is a uh, separator loss. So the rotor loss or separator loss is pretty good. Um, but we seem to be throwing a little bit out the sims. So um, not a whole lot you can do for that with all that trash coming in because it, it gets uh, caught up in the leaves and the husks and uh, kind of walks right out the back. So. Not a whole lot you can do if it's really, uh, really trashy. You, know, you can see all that stuff going into the corn head. But it's doing pretty good. My windows are a little dusty, but it's a really nice sunset tonight. So I've got a couple different uh, numbers here got Great Harvest Organics 5077 and a Pioneer 0075. Um, I did have a Blue River number um, over here that I did a uh, field scale plot. So I'll get all those numbers uh, calculated and we'll see which one did the best. So uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, weed control on this field. Um, it's pretty clean other than some velvet leaf, um, but I don't feel like the velvet leaf hurt the yield too much. Um, I tine weeded, I'm trying to think, a couple days after I planted, and then three days after that, I came back and rotary hoed just as it was spiking through the ground and then um, this was cultivated twice once with the Hineker and then the last time with the John Deere 856 so I um, thought it did a pretty good job overall this, like I said earlier this is first year certified organic so I have noticed um, weed pressure is a whole lot easier that first year certified um, than coming back around to the third year certified. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's possible to get some pretty good yields. Um, hopefully I can keep upping my um, 
expectations and hopefully I can keep driving yield. Because I think, I really don't think that there's any reason why organic can't yield with conventional. Just from when I started out, I thought, oh man, if I got 160 bushel corn, I was doing good. Well, I think, I don't think that 220 is out of the question. Um, 220, 230. I mean, let's see how how far we can push this stuff. So I'm pretty excited to, to try it, keep going at it. So give you one more glimpse of the sunset there. And I think this is going to be it for me tonight. Uh, may try to get a little bit of um, night shots here, but I've only got about 15 acres left so uh, in this field. Then I got uh, my other field yet. Uh, we'll probably start it Monday. So. So I'm going to try to air dry it the best that I can. Um, the one, one bin's about 20,000 bushel. We put about 15 in it. Um, try not to get it too deep so that it dries a little bit better. Um, and then this other bin's about a 12,000 bushel bin. So I don't want to get it too deep in there. I was going to split, you know, put one field in one bin, one field in another. Um, so I kind of figured it'd be a little bit better. Uh, putting a couple more loads from this field in that bigger bin. Try to get it. Um, being a bigger bin, it's spread out a little bit more. So um, it won't be quite as deep and hopefully it'll air dry a little quicker. 
So it's a really nice day today. Uh, yesterday, I think it made it up into the upper 60s, I think. I never looked at the weather for sure. Um, so this is the last field of organic corn that we have. Uh, and then we've got 70 acres of um, just regular conventional custom work to do. And then we'll be done shelling corn. So it's uh, getting to be about that time where I'm just, <laughs> We've been in the field for two months and I'm just kind of getting ready to be done. Um, a lot of rain delays and fog delays when we were cutting beans. We lost a whole week to fog. So, still learning the 4600 display here. Always like to. Uh, run my temperature up a little bit before I start shelling corn. I don't like to start the start it out on a cold engine so so I'll talk about this field a little bit. Um, this was managed pretty well like the other field was. Um, actually this side here I kind of had um, a few vid videos back um, you might remember or um, you can go back and watch. This side had oats in it in 2022 uh, and that side over there had wheat. Um, like I said in those videos just worked out that way um, so I could try oats. The oats did really good. Uh, they made right around 100 bushel an acre. Wheat wasn't bad it was like 65 or something like that. Um, so anyway after the oats I put a 19 way cover crop mix in here. The wheat just had clover um, and so I'm really not seeing a whole lot um, difference in yield between the two, the 19 way and the clover. Um, this 19 way mix, well and you can even go back and watch the, um, the one from this spring when I was working down the cover crops. Um, the 19 way mix didn't get real tall um, it it just didn't really do because of the dry summer in 22 um, it just didn't really do a whole lot um, the clover really didn't do that much either but it was it was a better stand um, this spring but I'm not really seeing a whole lot of difference in yield um, I did a little bit on that side but not a whole lot so I guess we'll we'll see at the end. Um, but I had a lot of thistle patches in here, um, and that was really hard to try to cultivate because the thistles grew with the corn, and then um, they, when I was trying to throw dirt back into the row, um, they kind of shielded you know, the corn and the dirt from, from that, uh, or the dirt coming into the row. Thanks for, uh, watching guys, and hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully you learned something. See you on the next one.